Chris from MMANews.com being joined with my man Eric Chase, who's set to take on Gunner Spain. It's going down at Maverick 16. It's going down June 26. We are at Wilmington, Delaware, 302 BJJ. He just got done a hard training session. First and foremost, Eric, what's going on, brother? How are you making out, Adam? I'm doing great, man. It's always great to talk to you. It's always great catching up. So it's been a little bit of time out of the cage, man, with this whole COVID pandemic. But I've been seeing your social media. I've been seeing you staying active and training hard. What's been going on lately? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I have not uh, slowed down in the slightest, man. I've been training this whole time. We had uh, – I was in a fight camp right before COVID. Um, last time I talked to you. Yeah. And uh, it was fight week, all that. And then COVID kind of came in, and that was when every, everybody freaked out. Everything kind of like yeah. – got a little shaky there for a minute. But, uh, I mean, I had like my fat week, and then I had another week, and I'm like, like dude, I, like, I don't know what to do with myself. You know what I'm saying? So I showed up to Trub's house, my coach, yeah. Earl Small. With my gi, I was like, yo, man, we're rolling the mats out. Like, we had a little fight club thing going on for a bit. So, I mean, I did not stop. I've been training the entire time. I have uh, striking, jujitsu, wrestling, everything. I've been making improvements, man. So, I I mean, it might have been time out of the cage. But, uh, man, I'm a completely different fighter, man. That that guy who talked to you last time, I would beat the hell out of that guy. So, A couple weeks ago when I was here uh, and talking to Trouble, man, and I I was watching you spar, and you looked like a completely different animal. But... Speaking of you in trouble, man, you guys' little setup out there by the bay and you guys' little paradise you had yeah. set up, man, that had to have been like paradise. Waking up every single day, training right on the water. Did you go oh, out yeah. fishing afterwards? Like, what oh, was yeah. that? I mean, obviously, yeah, you man. have a gorgeous gym here. You have everything you need. Yeah. But when everything shuts everything down like a pandemic yeah. would, tell me what that was like just training. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. A lot of people freaked out and had it. Man, I, I had so much fun in quarantine, man. I was just sleeping on my buddy's couch, man, waking up, training, fishing, having fun out there, man. Yeah. But, uh, and uh, just it made me with trouble too, man. He, you know, we were similar style and stuff, so I, I get a lot out of him, man. So, uh, yeah, during the quarantine and training, now that we're back together, I uh, pick up a lot from him too. Mm-hmm. So, one of my main training partners is my coach, so. Yep, Trouble just picked up that dub recently. I know you're looking to follow suit. So, oh, yeah. let's get into it, man. Gunner Spain, uh, Want to know, just like yourself, yep. obviously, somebody's O's got to go. What do you know about him? Um, I mean, I, I know a little bit. I did see you. He fought um, a little, probably around the last time I fought. He fought a, mm-hmm. a former teammate of mine, and they had a really good fight, man. Yep. You know, they were both very uh, composed. They uh, had good striking. There wasn't much wrestling, but they did a lot of striking. And uh, I know gunner has got a little bit of wrestling background. He's from Jersey, man, so you know he's tough. You know he's tough. He's from Jersey. So, But... Uh, He's got good forward pressure, man. He's tough, but uh, man, I'm I'm just as tough too, man. I'm from the same place, so uh, and I, I like the matchup that we have against each other. I like he likes to come forward a lot, man, and man, I like it when people get in my face. So we'll see how that goes. I was gonna say you actually you mentioned your former training partner. Did you ever get to pick his brain at all about the, you know uh, your opponent Gunner Spain? Just because he's had a little bit of a closer look, you've been able to see how he's performed. You know, when you're in the gym, you can kind of gauge that kind of viewpoint. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I, I'm friendly with Nick, man. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, you're only going to get so much, man. Right. They're in there for six minutes or nine minutes. I think they had three-minute rounds. But uh, but I'm, I'm able to go and see the fight. And I, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really watched the fight. I leave that to my coach, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to change exactly what I do just because of uh, the guy. So yeah. I'm going to go in there and we're going we're gonna to throw down, man. It's going to be two tough kids from Jersey getting after it. So. I can't wait, man. But... One thing I do have to ask is I, when it comes to some people's fighting styles, you know, some people might you know, describe themselves as a grappler. Some people might be a striker. You're one of those where I can actually 100% say well-rounded because you've had your kickboxing experience. I mean, obviously through quarantine and 302 BJJ goes to show in itself. Like you have the grappling. And not only that, but you're very tall for your weight. Mm-hmm. So you have a lot going on your side. Where do you think you bring the most danger in this fight? And I... I don't know if I have one specific thing. I have danger, man. If you see me on the feet, I'm long, I'm lanky. I utilize my reach. I have nice teeps. I have good strikes, man. I, I work with one of the best coaches in the world right there, man. He's getting my hands right. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't have problems on the feet, man. I'm, I got a bite on my punches. And if you get to the ground, man, I'm like a snake on that motherfucker. So <laughs> I'm going to grab your neck if you stick it out. And, and I showed that in my last fight. But uh, yeah. wherever this man wants to take the fight, it's where it's going to be. And uh, I, I'm a problem from start to finish. So, And every time I see you in the gym, you're going as hard as anybody else. You know, you're, you're going 100%, always looking like you're in fight camp. So I can only imagine now that you're actually back in fight camp, about to get oh, back yeah. into the cage. How does it feel to get like those, 
that rhythm back into the it feels great man it feels really good because yeah. like i haven't stopped training i've been training this whole time man mm -hmm. if anything quarantine did well because it kind of exit out some of the distractions man you know all the party bar all that all that shit was cut out yeah so i got really focused on my fighting and my training and just getting better and uh man just getting back in like i'm i'm always in physical shape man yeah. I, I could always walk into the cage the fight camp is more of a mental thing for me than it is a physical thing mm -hmm. and uh mentally and physically i'm dude i'm in shape i'm ready to go i'm i'm ready to ready to get in that cage and show them what the white walker does man the White Walker. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Name? Where does that come from? It comes from, uh, dude, that was years ago, man, toward the Game of Thrones season finale. My man Trubs got real into it. And everyone has their nicknames around here. And uh, I think I was cutting weight for my last fight, or was it the kickbox fight? I don't know, man. But I look like a zombie. And that man's like, yeah, you look like that White Walker, dude. And, and then it stuck, man. And I was like, hey, that's better than some of the other nicknames they gave me. So I'm like, I'm going to take my L's, man, and we're just going to run with that. So. We'll talk about the other nicknames off camera. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe not. <laughs> but uh, obviously, man, it's getting closer. It's getting, you know, a couple weeks time before you step back in the cage. What's your prediction, man? Obviously, you're not coming to lose, and you're fired up. So oh, yeah. you had to pick your shot. Man, I, like I said last time, I don't ever, ever pick one because I got 20 different ways I can finish you. I got different combinations, I have different submissions, I come from all angles, man, I have, I'm not sitting in my bed like, oh, this is the one I'm going to get him with, because if I do that, it's, uh, you know, that what happens if I don't get that, and then I'm like, oh, uh, plan's out the window, so I go in there with a little bit of a plan, but not really, man, I'm going in there just to fight, fight a fighter's fight, man, yeah. I'm going to get after it, and I'm, I'm going to look for the finish, but if it goes uh, all three rounds, I'm ready for that too, so. So, I know my MMA news is going to be in the house, I know we're good friends with Willie, I'm sure Willie probably going to share this because we had a conversation beforehand so if you had anything you had to say to gunner spain which i'm sure he'll see the floor is yours man hey man i said let's put on a show man i'm ready to go out there i'm ready to fight and i know you're going to be game two so all respect to you buddy but I'm coming to put some leather on some skin so i'll see you in the cage bro eric chase taking on gunner spain somebody's o's got to go it's going down june 26 at maverick 16 Cannot wait to see these two back in the cage. It's been over a year. For the White Walker, Eric Chase, I'm Adam Christ. Make sure you keep a lock to my MMA news.com for all your fight news needs.